Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at something slightly different. This right behind me is the Mondale Shake R5, which is a small amusement park ride for you to enjoy by yourself or even with friends. Now what I will say right now is this contains a lot of flashing light, so if you suffer from say epilepsy or you're sensitive to flashing bright lights, then I'll suggest that you skip this video and just close off it. But yes, for the moment we've got no lights turned on, everything's turned off so we can get a nice look around the place, and then we're going to go through all of the options that we can play with on this gigantic button panel, which is all being very clearly labelled. Yes, like I said, it's an amusement park, it spawns in as a world, so there's no blueprint to go through, and this is what we get. So all the way over to here we've got a bunch of lovely signs that say shake, and over onto this side of the ride here, we've got ourselves a small little ticket stall for you to sell tickets to your friends before they can access the rides. For the rides themselves, they're just simply on a spinning plate onto another spinning plate onto a chair that also spins round and moves up and down via these rotors. You simply hop into it and away you go, and you're going to feel rather sick if you spend too long on it. And so that's what that does, and it goes all the way around into the middle like so. Coming to the very middle of this section, we've got a lovely little spinning ball part. We've got a bunch of lights that will light up in the end. And we've got some small arms on the side right here. Moving all the way down. And there we go. As for the outside of this thing, because there's not really too much else to talk about, because it is very self-explanatory with how it's all been set up. We've got a bunch of lights that are all been dotted around the place. Over here, we've got a bunch of multicolored lights. We've got some sound blocks. We can play some rather funky sounds. All the way over here on the back wall, this is what we get. So even more colourful lights, a bunch of colourful blocks, more lights at the top there that spin around and light up when we click a button. And all the way over here, we then got a seat for the operator. Then over onto this wall at the very back there, we've got a sign saying shake and roll. And over on this side, it's basically the same as the opposite. We've got a lovely trumpet and a tropical palm tree. There we go. And as for the outside of this thing, before we get into the playful buttons and we switch this to nighttime, which is why there was a warning for flashing lights. That is just the very back there. And there we go. So now we're just going to come all the way around over to here, and we're going to change it to night time, which should help the frame rate quite a lot. So here we go. I'm using the very dark mod, also called Space Just Got Real. So this is what it's like at night. Now it's time to grab hold of my character, and we can go through some of these buttons. So the first one I'm just going to get out of the way right now is the strobe lights. So this can bring my character over here, we're going to bring the camera up there and I'm going to click it. That is the strobe light, and we're going to turn that off very, very quickly. We're not going to be using that at all, because even I think that's a bit over the top. The next one is the sky streamers, where we can press that, and we get these lovely lights at the top like so. They just spin around, and around, and around with a lovely white glow. The next one is the wall spotlights, where if you press that, we get a lovely colourful glow from all the spotlights that sit on top of the back wall. Getting a bit closer like so, that's where all the lights are coming from. And looking down, that is the colourful effect they create. The next one are the dancing spotlights, which are the spotlights on the sign there. Took a little bit to come on, but there we go. Now the spotlights are turning on, and I'll just flick between 1, 1, 1, and then start over at the start once again. So there we go, just all through it in order. That also counts for the ones on the back wall, and this is the effect they give. The next ones are the wall chasing spotlights, so turning that on there, we now got the back walls. I'll just do a solid colour from that side, that side, and then into the middle, where it's flicking slightly off timed. There we go. Very simple one compared to all the other ones. The next one is the plain spotlights, where you just click that and we get a lovely white glow, all pointing towards the centre platform. Go and look down. There we go. The next ones are the lights for the seats, so pressing that. We now get our lights turned on on each of the seats around this little ride. There we go, that's the glow we get all the way around. And it does look a lot fantastic when we put these all together and turn on, but that'll be saved for last. Now we're just going to turn that off, because the final one is going to be for the lights in the centre. So here we go, we're now going to press that, and that gives us a lovely blue glow. I do love this shade of blue. It's just, well, it's one of my favourite colours. And there we go, that's just how it works, and it has a nice effect on the back wall. We'll just turn that off once again. And with that all done and out of the way, we can now return the lights to the seats. There we go. So we've got some controls for the ride. So to bring my character all the way over to this section right here, 
we've got a few buttons to go through. So this one over here is our seat brake, where if we were to press that and come closer to the seat, this is going to allow our seats to rock up and down. If we were to move all the way across, we then got the cross drive, press that, there we go. We now start to spin around the seats. And then the final one is across over here and it's called the main drive, where if we were to press that and come back around, that's now going to spin the main platform. And that is the ride in the nutshell. Then back to the final controls, we simply got some speed controls, which is going to be for how fast the platform spins and of course how fast the chairs will rotate around. And then over to here, we then got the music button, where if we were to press it, we get our standard funky music. There we go. But we're just going to turn it off because that is quite loud. So now what we can do is I'm going to turn off my light. We're now going to turn on the racing spotlight. There we go. We're now going to turn on the wall chase. Going to come down to here, we're going to activate these seat lights. Oh, they've already been active. We want the middle lights turned on. Then we're going to come up to here for the white spotlights. Over to here for the wall spotlights. Over to here for then the sky beamers. And we're not going to touch these strobe lights. And then we're going to do a look all the way up. And that is what we get. We've got an absolutely fantastic array of lighting all the way around this ride. And we can just for the well grand finale, we're just going to chop that music on. And I'll simply turn it down in editing. But that is how that works and how it all spins around. And I think it's time for me to hop into one of these seats, if I can. And well, hopefully I won't die to Lord Clang attempting to do this. This is so dangerous. I need to get into a seat. There we go. That is what it's like in first person view. We're simply spinning all the way around and that is making me really dizzy. Might need to switch off that seat. We're simply going to rotate up and down and back into the first person view. That is what we get. If it was to come into here and find the actual chasing camera, We're now just going to spin around and around and around fast. We just lost control of that one. Let's go and find the character once again. There we go. Having the time of his life in there. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yes, we now come out of there. And I think that is pretty much it for what this thing has to offer. Yes, as you can see, it is tanking a little bit with the frame rate, but that's mainly due to all the shadows everywhere. And yes, that is what it does. We can just turn off the light before it tries to start up once again. And that is basically it for what the Mondial Shake R5 has to offer. It's something very different and I haven't showcased anything like this beforehand. And you don't really see it too often on the workshop. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download it and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it is a little bit of fun. And I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.